So I reckon I'm missing something to do with the greenhouse. Oh, yeah, the iron bar. <laughs> Didn't see that before. Uh, so door is latched from the outside. Uh -oh. uh, let's see what we can find inside. I don't like that sound. What is that sound? My greenhouse certainly doesn't make that sound. Ooh, there's a shape there. This pane looks as if it's been broken from the inside. Great. Um, why does this look like a weeping angel? I don't like the look of that. The statue of an angel with its uh, wings spread, its head is missing. Okay, what's this? A jar of vitriol oil. It must be, I must be careful, it's powerful acid. Also useful in a uh, Minecraft um, witchery mod. Oil of vitriol. Uh, the statue of an angel covered in mould, it's glancing at me with a sad gesture. Now, anyone who watches uh, Duncan and me play in Minecraft would know that I haven't watched Doctor Who ever, but recently a friend of mine has been determined to kind of break my Doctor Who uh, non-watchingness and... Um, yeah, no start me on the episodes with um, the Weeping Angels. And given the sounds of that, uh, I am not happy. Not happy. Um, I'm just gonna go into the forest, see if there's anything else we can see, especially now that we've got a lamp, cause might as well now that we're here, what's this? Old ruins lay on the path, they seem to Roman in style. Were they there before? What's this? Ooh. Piano keys of doom. Corpse of a deer, its abdomen torn open. It looks recently dead. Is that connected with um, the thing breaking out from the greenhouse? Maybe. Maybe that's so. That's where we came in. There's nothing else here. I wonder if we can do anything with the deer because it seems pretty like I don't know pertinent that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um that this has happened since we've been here. So, um, can I put some vitriol on you? No. Can I put the envelope? No. Cyanide you? No. Light bulb you? Oh. Oh. Ugh. Now the bulb is grossly covered in blood. Um, okay. That's, uh, right. That's, um, that's one of the more unusual solutions I've seen to a point and click. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, although, thinking about it, oh yeah, still got the lock to, does this open? No. Um, thinking about it, that means that we now have a red light for the room, for the red room, red room. Red room, uh, to develop that photograph in. So, let's have a look in the photo room. Photo room. Okay, so, because it's a little dark in here, let's put the, uh, yeah, okay, let's put the gross bulb back in. Can I put the gross bulb back in? Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Now we have an ominous red light. Um, what was that on the floor again? I can't remember. Oh yeah, okay, so this is what I need. So we need to put one ounce of vitriol spirit and then only five or six drops of cyanide wash in water. Okay, one ounce of... So how do we do this? So I'll put vitriol in first. I need something on which to apply the liquid. So if, can I put that in? Okay, so that's in. Add the... Ooh. Make sure it's one ounce. And then cyanide. Five drops. Okay, all that needs is to rinse the plate. So click that. And da 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 da! Holiday snaps. Disneyland snaps? It's a photograph of Anthony and Alexandre, although there appears to be something in the background there. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Um. No. Uh. Woof. 
Um, oh my God, my heart is actually palpitating. I, I'm not even joking. My heart is beating a mile a minute. Oh my God. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. I'm getting out of here. That was not cool. <sighs> now, I'm guessing that maybe if I show Alexandre the photo of him... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Alex <laughs> Alexandre, do you recognise this photograph? Take a look. It is you and our old friend Anthony, and there is someone else blurred in the background. Who is the third figure? Does he mean something to you? What's that? Piece of clockwork at hand. The bird awaits. Seems to be lacking air. Um... It's going to be referencing those crows and ravens, isn't he? Um, I'm not. I'm not enjoying this. Um, okay. Uh, one of the hands is missing. Put hand on the clock. Uh, I need to set it to the correct time. Uh, what was the correct time? There was something that said the correct time, wasn't there? No. Oh, it was the invoice, wasn't it? Yes, it was the invoice. The cuckoo clock to give strokes exclusively at quarter past six in the afternoon. But then the cuckoo clock was on its side and the clocks are synchronized. So if the cuckoo clock was on its side, this is gonna hurt my head. To make it quarter past six, it needs to be back backwards. No. I'm just trying to imagine. So it was it was on its left. So to make it oh, my brain hurts. My brain really hurts doing this. So what if it's like this? Aha! Got it. Cuckoo clock is cuckooing. Oh gosh. Zathiel. A bird the bird has burst out at the stroke. Now its beak is open. Okay. There's a key inside the bird. What the heck is Zath He is having some kind of seizure. He is trembling of pure horror. Okay. Can I use the key on you? Use a photo on you? No, okay. Um Xyothal. That sounds almost Lovecraftian to me. That sounds um I don't know, like Shugoth or Cthulhu or something. Right, now we have a key. Let's go to the only locked room in this house. And we all know what happens in the cellar! Good things! Okay. A dusty carpet of Asian origin. Um, mold cover the portrait. Can't wait to get jump scared in this bit. This piece of furniture has several drawers. Gardener's shovel. Oh, so we can dig up the um, the grave that we saw earlier. What's this? There are remains of a Roman mosaic behind this wall. I can't distinguish anything clearly. So we're going to get the Romans involved, are we? And why is there a bunch of angels down here? Ancient statue. Are they, are they going to start moving? Part of a Roman settlement. Ooh, what's this? That's a cage. A book written in a language unknown to me. There is a scrawled annotation written in English on one of the margins. This and no other is the function of the serum we manufactured at the boarding school when we were young. It is something that we didn't understand at the time. To accompany the mind to the, pros to the proscenium of the big theatre and there help us to look behind the curtain that separates the world of men and the land of truth. Fr men from and the land of truth. 
To look, I say, if anything apprehend an image of what lives there, just that. Will the hapo allow us to raise the curtain enough to walk off the stage and go beyond? So is it some kind of ritual that... It just seems like a kind of, you know, murky... Mm, animals have been captive here. A murky kind of explanation of trying to find the lamb beyond death, maybe? Uh, chemicals, everything smells of vinegar. Repulsive liquids, a few have developed fungi inside. Unlabeled bottles. What's this? Nothing here? Doesn't seem to be anything else around here, but that said... I can't help but think that something is going to have moved by the time we go back outside again. Hmm. Okay, let's see what horrors await for us out there. Have you moved? No, you haven't moved yet. Let's get past you very quickly. I don't. Oh, they're making me feel very uneasy. I know, even though they're like pixel art, feeling very uneasy. So let's go out to the grave. There was a grave back here, wasn't there? Yes, and see what poor sod has been buried back here. I'm sure this is not the wisest move ever. Okay. It's a coffin. No, it's a, a lock is very rusted, almost shattered. Oh, okay, too small. Can't open it by hand. Um... Melt it off. Oh my god. The remains of a humanoid body, with, with, but with a grotesque animal aspect. Maybe a small ape. It has a collar with some engraved words on it. Old Mike. Clutching a rolled up canvas. It's a map of the stars. Okay, well that's um, a paper leaf. Dear Alexandre, undoubtedly your methods are definitely stronger than mine. How did you manage to get results with such alacrity? On another note, my epiphany with the treaties, treaties of alchemy was not accidental. When examining the text closer, I have come to the conclusion that for a time, Raymundus Lully sought the same thing as we did. In his account, he describes a formula that he calls hapoe, yes, like the legendary bird. It closely resembles the serum which we have worked so far, except for minor differences. It's a pity. It's a pity what you tell me about old Mike. I hope he gets better soon. Videte ne quisquiat. So at school, part of the cult, we developed an alchemy that drugged us, that kind of tripped us out. Okay. Um... So that, oh dear, um, so that monkey must have been downstairs in the cellar, and he's passed away. Um, god, this is so, oh, I'm, I'm really, okay, let's see, prepare yourselves, guys. Alexandre is not here. It's okay, it's just a window. It's just a window. Some diary pages on the wheelchair. The paper is ripped apart as if someone had stripped the, uh, it off the book hastily. I'm writing this in the light of my desk lamp, hoping to be able to remember it all when the birds finally sing and the sun blessing dispels, and the sun blessing dispels the dark shadows of mind. During the whole afternoon, a strong wind hit the valley, so strong that it has cracked the larger branch of the old oak in the garden. I find it hard to get sleep during these nights, so I read a lot while accompanying the professor. I don't really know when exactly I fell asleep. I was awakened by the chill of the night, which was seeping in through the open window. I looked outside and saw him. The professor was miraculously awake! What was my joy to see him standing on the balcony, watching the valley with a true serene expression, enjoying the fresh, calm air right after the storm. I felt that a blessing had fallen upon this house, and for a moment, I felt immensely happy. I feel immensely ominous, if I'm honest. 
I stared at him for a while without saying anything, being afraid of dispelling a vision I hadn't believed possible for a long time. And then, in the midst of the silence, I heard a sound that froze me in my seat and snatched all my calmness with such a terrible chill that I will never forget. A loud noise beside me, low-pitched as the drag of the slab, Mr. Alexandre's snore, who was sleeping pleasantly in his bed. I've already mis made a decision. I will leave this house. So he must have seen a ghost or something on the or, or someone else on the balcony. Either way, I'm not hopeful. Another statue. A lens mounted in the ring. So can I use this in com the summer triangle? So presumably we need to look up at the stars, but how? Oh, look! Oh. Oh, yay, another dark passageway. Let's go in and see what fun things are here. A mountain of compacted snow. What's this? A wooden secretary desk, beautifully carved. The flip top has no knob or lock, just some strange symbols. Okay. Okay, so I can't solve that for the second. A skylight, narrow window. What's this? Envelope. Dear Alexandre, I'm terribly sorry about old Mike. Will you put him to rest in his favourite place? After weeks of unnecessary... After weeks of unsuccessful attempts, I've managed to distill the alchemical formula based on the notes you sent me. Certainly you're a master of this craft. The subject reacted to the serum as usual, rapidly entering a state of waking sleep. Suddenly, the convulsions suddenly the convulsions stopped and since then he's not responding to any kind of stimulation. He has remained in this state for many days. My diagnosis is brain dead. Which should be our next step? Which should be our next step, Alexandre? I'm worried this could be the end of our research. Videte ne quisquiat. So his serum's not working. And we have a telescope here. Okay, so... Let's put the crystal on the scope. And... Okay, so we've got that. So presumably, if we look at this... We need to plot the constellation Deneb, Vega, and Altair. Oh, I didn't even know an assassin was back up here. Um, and presumably those symbols will match up with the symbols on the secretary. So, so sort of... Okay, we'll try and work this out. So I'm thinking it's this line here, the U, and that one there. So, keep those in mind. Are these... I'm not sure, are they star signs? Because that looks like Pisces to me. And the Ram one? Huh. Okay. Um, so let's try and look on here. So, it was the U on there. And I've instantly forgotten. Yeah, so I think it was that one. And that one? Okay, we're going to have to go back a couple of times, but it's definitely the U on that side. And the lines on that side. Oh, it's the um, three lines like that. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, we've done it. There is a small cabinet with two slots for syringes. Only one of them remains. With the serum, no doubt. Yeah, so when I hear voices from a pit, I don't typically want to have a look, really. Um, yeah, MP, height, don't you? Let's look at this again. Oh, God, this is um, Anthony and Alexandre. So presumably Anthony's the one who was writing Alexandre about the experiments, and then the third shadow is their subject or something, but if you look behind, it's the uh, cellar, so... Come on then, let's have a look at the pit. Oh, hello. Alexandre. Oh god, we've gone back to the beginning, haven't we? 
Are you going to beat me up and put me in the chair? You are, aren't you? Um, a variety of surgical, surgical instruments and some jars with chemicals in them. You're good. Okay, here we go. This is what you asked me to search for, is it not, Alexandre? Am I right? The last door. Sayil fell. The last door. We can cross together. What should I do? I am waiting for you. Here, in the mist. It's nearby. I can hear it. What's nearby? What do you hear? I hear the beating of its wings. It knows we are afraid. I am ready. So, I'm willingly going to allow him to experiment on me? Okay, so I'm, gu I'm guessing the last door is death. And we're going to meet the devil. Well. See you on the other side. Oh! Do you think that we will find any clue here about DeWitt's whereabouts? Ah, oh, they've gone back to the house. The police must have taken almost everything, but we have no other leads to pursue. Hopefully, they have overlooked something. That's uh, the first house we were in in Chapter 1. What about this room? There is a sealed letter between this table and the wall. It looks like Air Beechworth never sent it. I think it's best that you read it. Dearest Alexandre, please, you must reflect on this. We do not know yet what we are dealing with. If you were to open the door, it may stay that way. An open doorway for whatever lives on the other side. Videte ne quisquiat. So there you go, guys. There is episode four of The Last Door. Now, I'm probably going to carry on straight away with the next two episodes as I know they're out. But before we finish, it appears as DeVitt has made it to the other side. I'm definitely going to, in between this and the next recording, I'm definitely going to look up that Zalthal name. Who are you? Hello? Don't run. Don't run, friend. There we go. The adventure continues in season two. So, of course, I will be covering that next because I think episode one of that is already out. Um, yeah, and I'm really enjoying this. I'm loving the Lovecraft influence. It's so Lovecraftian. Um, and, I don't know, it just feels to me like we are bringing the raven god over or whatever it is but i'm gonna i'm gonna, gonna look up what Z zalthal is um yeah so join me next up in season two episode one see you guys next time <laughs>